As an ophthalmologist and newbie YouTuber, I want to share with both my patients and any other individuals who happen upon my videos information and education about eye surgery. Vision is precious to all of us. My hope is that proper education will help everyone make good decisions for themselves. This video is about refractive lens exchange, also known as clear lens extraction. It is part of a wide variety of eye procedures called refractive surgery. This is defined as an elective surgery designed to improve vision and decrease or eliminate dependency on glasses and contacts, providing most individuals with a large degree of visual freedom. Refractive lens exchange is very helpful for those people who are in the mid to late part of their lives and becoming annoyed with glasses or contacts. Also, they do not qualify for or are past the age for LASIK and implantable contact lenses. This can be determined by visiting with your local ophthalmologist. LASIK, PRK, and implantable contact lenses are all techniques I employ and work very well but are not for everyone. I have a video about implantable contact lenses and hope soon to post one regarding LASIK as well. For those of you who have never worn glasses or contacts, just know that it is a pain. I know from personal experience. It is especially annoying to my patients who are now reaching their 40s and 50s and having to reach for a pair of readers or cheaters to read anything up close. Also, many of my patients have worn glasses most of their lives and are just getting tired of them. It is annoying to be unable to see while swimming. It is frustrating to need glasses or contacts while biking or running or working on the computer. Regardless of the reason, there are many who are looking for a solution. Now I understand that perhaps those from the older generation might think that's silly, that we should just use glasses or contacts, but visual freedom is precious and the younger generation is looking towards technology to solve some of their daily problems. Achieving some degree of visual freedom is one thing that we can help most patients obtain. Refractive lens exchange is a technique for my older patients that involves removing the older natural lens and replacing it with a new lens. The new lens that I am referring to is called a multifocal lens or extended depth of focus lens. Each lens type has its pros and cons, but they are both designed to improve distance vision and up close vision. They differ according to the amount of near vision that can be achieved and the side effect profiles of each lens. As eye surgeons, our goal is to discuss the options with the patients and then guide them as to which lens might be best for their lifestyle. The development of these lenses began about 15 years ago and ever since then every couple of years or every year companies come out with newer models that have better vision and less side effects for our patients. When I discuss these lenses with patients I explain that nothing is perfect but these lenses are pretty darn awesome and they're hard not to get excited about. They help my patients see to drive play on the computer, and read without glasses, and that's what most of my patients desire. Refractive lens exchange is the exact same surgery as cataract surgery, except that it is not medically necessary because the natural lens is not yet cloudy. It is simply stiff, and in its stiff condition, it no longer focuses like it ought to. When we are young, the natural lens is very supple and able to bend and curve in order to bring things into focus, kind of like an autofocusing camera. But as we age, that natural lens begins to stiffen, and that's what brings on the need for reading glasses that most people so much hate. Because it is not medically necessary, refractive lens exchange is labeled an elective procedure and is not covered by insurance. In this video, I am demonstrating a lens exchange. I am already part way through the surgery and you can see that after I made the circular opening in the natural lens capsule, I took a little bit of fluid and I loosened up the lens within the capsule. Now with this little vibrating device called phacoemulsification, I can suck out the natural lens. 
In someone who is less than 60 or 70, these lenses are not stiff and they are sucked out without the need for too much phacal emulsification energy. You still have to be extremely delicate because the surrounding structures are delicate, important, and very thin. But the lens itself is not hard like a cataract. If you haven't seen my cataract surgery video, you should go take a peek at it. And you can see how much more hard and how much more energy we have to use to get that lens out. After the main body of the lens, which we call the nucleus, is removed, there is the remaining cortex. The cortex is the outer layer of the natural lens, and so we switch from a vibrating needle device to a purely aspirating device. You can see me pulling off that final layer and then polishing the rest of the capsule back. I'll go ahead and speed things up from here. Once the lens has been completely removed and the bag has been polished, I will go ahead and refill the capsular sac with a jelly-like substance similar to what I used at the beginning of the surgery. And that we call viscoelastic. At this point I'll add a freeze frame so you can see that I marked the cornea with a purple marker. We call this mark the axis and it is only necessary to mark the cornea in those people who have enough astigmatism to warrant a lens that corrects astigmatism. This is only necessary in about one quarter to one third of individuals. You can see now that I've implanted the lens, it has some rings of power. This particular lens is called a panoptic lens, made by Alcon. I also use a lens called the Symphony or Vividity lens. They all have their purposes. If you ask me next month, there might be another type of lens out there by a different company and we will evaluate and utilize them for our patients if we deem they are of benefit to them. Now you can see that this lens also has little dots on each side. The purpose of these dots is to help me align this lens with the corneal astigmatism of the patient to best reduce the entire astigmatism. The remainder of the procedure is me fussing around to ensure the lens is well aligned with the corneal marks and I'll be pretty fastidious in making sure the center of the lens is aligned with the patient's visual axis. I'm asking the patient repeatedly to focus on the light Focus on the light and we'll get this lens well centered. This is one of the reasons why we do cataract surgery or refractive lens exchange with patients only lightly sedated. This way towards the end of the surgery they can participate and focus on the light to provide the best centration of the lens. I'm also hydrating the corneal incisions to create self-sealing wounds so we don't have to use stitches after surgery. I'll fast forward the rest of this because it is just me fussing around with the axis and centration. Thank you for watching my video on refractive lens exchange. If you have any questions, please come visit us at St. George Eye Center. In addition, please subscribe and watch my other videos regarding eye surgery and eye trauma. I hope to come out with new videos as soon as possible. Thanks.